Hi, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? That's right. We got Savivi back on the channel. And I know I'm going to say this wrong, but the Odium? Yeah, I saw it and went, why not? All right, before we get too far into the blade, what I really, truly was impressed by, by Savivi, they included, like, their own little carrying case for it with, like, that little felt, whatever, carpety lining. They had you know, a little chamois cloth, little info, and, like, little stickers or whatever. I thought that was really, really neat of them to do that. Now, I saw this one. I went black on black with that big thumb hole open. Okay. It's small, gentleman style, which I like. Let's bring it to the channel. And then I found out this one is a collaboration with Ferium Forge Knifeworks. So why not? I'm getting two great companies' ideas in one blade. Like I said, it just looked awesome to me when I saw it on Amazon and went, you're coming to the collection. Now, <laughs> ah, sorry, I couldn't get to the pause button in time. It's got an overall length of about 6.19 inches. The cutting, or well, I should say, the blade is about 2.65 with a cutting surface of 2.25. Closed, it's about 3.54, and it comes in at a very, very minor weight of 2.50 ounces. It is done with the drop point style with a flat grind and a plain edge. This one does have D2 steel, and they're, they're hiding their little D2 thing right there, with a Rockwell rating of about 59 to 61. The whole thing has a great black coating on the blade. I can't figure out if it's like, you know, black traction, titanium nitrate, whatever. They just say black coating wherever I can find. We do have a stainless steel frame with a liner lock. <laughs> yeah, sorry. This one has a problem opening most of the time, but still. Now, we do have dual G10 um, scales, and they are, of course, black in color. Now, as you see, it does have the flipper open, or I've just been trying to use the big old thumb hole there, but it's still in its break-in process. This thing is less than maybe seven days old, all right? There is only one way to carry this thing, which is right-hand carry tip up, but it also makes me wonder because, see a little hole right there? I mean, I'm just kind of curious if one of those screws would fit in there but they say it's only right hand carry so we're going to go with that for purposes of this review and it does well it is made in china as you know by savivi all right let's get the cut tests out of the way now we usually only do three of them and if you're curious why i do those three take a look right up there you're going to see a card for why i do those cut tests as always heavy duty stock paper hmm, not bad all right, let's see if we can get a curly cue. Now nah, it just <laughs> it just wants to run on me, but it did start a little bit there, so I'll go with it. <laughs> the reason why um, I like to try to find curly cues is anyone can basically take a blade and just run it across and go sharp, sharp, sharp. But if you drag it across nice and slow, that's what should happen. That paper should tend to fold back into itself. That's going to show you there's no really micro abrasions or pittings or anything else on that blade that somehow got by quality control. Now, yes, I am taking an extra second here because you guys know by watching my channel recently, having a heck of a time with pull tests on this paracord that's been in a tactical rope dispenser forever and a day. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention a little forward jimping there, and that itty bitty bit of a forward finger churl, but I like having it right behind there, that acts as a little finger guard. Oh hey, that went through no problem, considering everything else that's been going on. Nice! Slice. Oh yeah. And yes, I know, I know, he's back, he's back, he's here. <gasps> Mr. Ratchet Strap. Yep, right through, no problem. Okay. Well, I don't like that, but still it cleans up nice. All right, same thing on the other side. A little bit of snow, but no big deal. Okay, so I took a look. Oh, I should say, did the homework and everything on 3-10-2021, and I'm filming this on 3-12-2021. Took a look on Amazon, um, Civivi.com, and Blade HQ. On Amazon, it's $52.70. It is Prime eligible with one-day option. Civivi, it's $62, and Blade HQ, it's $52.70. Now, it's been reviewed four, to four times <laughs> on Blade HQ for a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. 
on Civivi, five times for a five out of five star rating, and over on Amazon, 48 times for a 4.6 out of five star rating. Now, we are at the best part of the video for me. Seriously, we really are. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you think she's a noise or an F-bomb? A noise or an F-bomb? Let me know. Now, Oh, wow, pause. I need more caffeine. <laughs> for you first-time viewers of my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know we do things a little bit differently here on the channel, and I'm very, very grateful for the time that you gave me today. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, why not? Why don't you leave me a comment right down below what I can do to earn your subscription, and let's see if we can work it into future videos. Now, if you've done all that fun stuff, I know, I know I'm asking a lot, but all this is free, okay? Take a look right down here. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up in a moment. Go ahead, click on that thing. It should bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select for my current catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Civivi Odium. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. I hope you're having a great one, a safe one, and I'll see all of you in our next video.